Greetings Metro community, it's uh, Roger back with another video. Uh, first of all, in the background, if you can hear it, it's the uh, excellent trash album by Equinox called Of Bidrosen. Yeah, it's a great, great uh, Norwegian trash album, not a lot of them. Uh, this came out in 89, and when it came out, we were mind struck that Norway had a, such a great trash album. So, yeah, it's a Norwegian classic. The reason why I made this video was because I got a couple of books. Uh, the first one was the uh, Peace Will Life. Signed. Uh, this is the history of Peace Will. You know, Peace Will was a very important label, especially in the early 90s for me. And they have a lot of, yeah, it's just the history, and uh, you know, you have all the all the uh, releases they have done listed in the back, and uh, that's very really cool. Uh, looking forward to to reading this, and uh, the second one was the uh, Mighty Tape Dealer, thick heavy book. This is uh, a, a, you know a compilation of you know demos from '84 to '94. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in this book. So. Uh, when I started to reading this, it was uh, I had to go and you know look into my more obscure tapes that I have. So this will all be shown tapes, and of course this beautiful piece. And this is a great, great uh, piece. I read uh, yeah, the first chapter last night, and it was good fun. It's uh, members telling about the demos and the time back in the day so um, it's really cool to have this one and therefore I went into my tape collection the old uh, old part of my tape collection there is some you know Norwegian uh, demos uh, this is Decadence it's a Norwegian trash band this was released in 1990, called Gunslinger. Uh, to try to find this on uh, my, still don't have the a tape player in my house for the moment, so I haven't spun this and I tried to find it on the internet, but they only had the, or YouTube just had the uh, first demo which is not very good. The vocals are weak and I do think the vocals are better than this as I remember. I did see them live back in 91 and it was pretty pretty good at that time but you know compared to the the good thrash bands out there at that time that they were far from good. And this band on the other hand was very good. Um, Death Mission. I think this is also in 1990. You know, we have lyric sheets, all the lyrics, and you know, this is a good, good trash release. Uh, this was one of the bands that I think everybody was sure this will make make a name for them for themselves because they were really good and excellent live. Uh, they were very tight live. I think one of the guys are in cold, cold, uh, that, but apart from that I don't know if anybody did anything after this one, but uh, this is a very cool, cool demo. I found a song on YouTube which I'm going to link down below so you can go and check it out. Then I have a lot of promotion stuff, you know what? <laughs> kind of weird, I don't remember how I got all this, but this is Defiance Beyond Recognition and there is no, you know, track listing, it's just in this, it came like this when I bought it or got it, and yeah, no info whatsoever, uh, but like 
cool to have. Then we have Eccentric, Eccentrics from England with the album Kin. Uh, I think this is a um, music foundation. No, this was Ro Roadrunner. Uh, you know, this is was how they did it. I think they uh, gave this out to magazines and stuff. Uh, I got told of a bunch of them. Then we are going to a. This is a music nation release. It's, yeah. yeah, not easy to read. Creation of death. Don't remember this at all, but this is just on a. You know, they have written the, the name on here. So, very simplistic, but uh, you know, at least they a um, list of the songs on here then we have cyanide also a simplistic cover but you know at least tracking list with a very professional tape uh, real cool stuff I mean cyanide 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 or whatever you say it it's a pretty cool um, Cool band, so uh, this is kind of cool, uh, cool to have. And we have another music formation. This is War. America must be destroyed. Yeah. Blurry as hell. Tracking list. Nothing more to see. You know the same. Awesome quality tape. I'm just showing this up because it's kind of cool to have them, and I kind of forgot I had them. Then we have uh, Widows under one flag uh, release. I think Widows was from Brazil or something. You know, still just tracking list and professional tapes. Then I have a couple of more. I'm gonna take this promo, which is pretty cool. This is Covenant, handwritten on this side with you know promo 95 and uh, yeah, Black Tower production. And uh, yeah, this has uh, somewhat a better booklet, but still not. It's just on normal paper, made probably again just promotion for uh, you know magazines and stuff like that. Don't remember how I got this, but uh, I, that's because my age. Then we have another no Norwegian black metal band. It's the same, same stuff, handwritten. And the same label, you know, Black Tower Productions. Again, uh, just a cool, cool stuff to have. This is 93. The Covenant was from 95. Another music formation and a well known band, Atheist's Element. Whole lot of paper. And again, very professional tape. Uh, not at this best album. It's, it's the worst album for me, but uh, you know, the songs are good, but the production on this sucks. And the vocals are not very good either, but yeah. Then we have, I don't know if this is a demo or if this, uh, you know, official uh, or no, this is Grand Belial's key. You know, so this I got back in 94. Triumph of the Hordes. And this is, you know, professional 
professionally done. So I'm thinking this might be a official release, but uh, if anybody knows if this is them or not, I haven't checked it out. On. But again, cool, cool to have this. Grand Belial's key. Then I have uh, Emperor Wrath of the Tyrants. This is um, uh, under license to um, Wild Rags Records. Again, don't know how and when I got this one, but I did have it for quite a few years. And you know, professionally done that as well, so. Just a cool, cool item and a great, great release, this one. Then we have the Old Funeral. This is kind of nicely done, you know. And, uh, you know, lyric are uh, full of big lyric sheets. Cool stuff and you know signed to me by Tura he had found this and he had I bought this three years ago he had found a, a, a tape from back in the days in a box so um, he sold that one to me and I'm very happy to have it old funeral you know pretty legendary Norwegian death metal band Then we have uh, Utumno, Utumno from uh, yeah. Mercusrike, semi-professionally done that tape, but you know, just a paper, Norwegian black metal, this was recorded in 97, I do not think I've heard this ever since I bought it, so i um, looking forward to listen to this one, because uh, yeah, I can't remember anything about it. Maybe it's shit, but uh, yeah. And then we have the Forgery, Wrath of the Righteous. This band is actually still active, but they change from thrash to more uh, groove. You know, more the... Uh, yeah... Sepultura, the... Uh, when Sepultura did not play good thrash anymore. Uh, this was... Uh, as I remember, a little bit rougher in the edges, you know, slightly towards death metal. But I might be wrong, uh, but it's definitely a pure trash release, not that groovy, groovy stuff. So uh, yeah, that was all I wanted to show today, just a short one, because I got into revisiting my tape uh, collection. There will be a new update video soon, I've got a bunch of stuff coming in and I also will try to make some videos showing what I listened to back in the 80s and that's one of the reasons why I started this, to, to show off uh, some of the stuff that I have that might be unknown to some people out there, so yeah, that was all for today and uh, be sure